I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with your weather extreme video for this uh, Saturday, November the 5th. And uh, before we get going on the current weather, let's uh, take a quick look at the drought monitor over the southeastern United States. And you can see that Georgia and Alabama experiencing a great deal of extreme drought. That's the red areas. And uh, some... Uh, Higher conditions, uh, exceptional drought is the uh, really dark red areas. Looking closer at Alabama, you can see that we have uh, nearly the northern two-thirds of the state, or at least the northern half of the state, is in the exceptional uh, or extreme drought, rather. And uh, we need to keep that in mind. And remember, there's a ban on fires across the northern two-thirds of the state of Alabama. Satellite image this morning shows that we have clear skies over much of Alabama and Georgia and uh, northern Florida, but we do see some cirrus over the lower Mississippi River Valley, and that cirrus will be chugging across the Alabama sky today, but uh, should see plenty of sunshine with highs getting up into the mid and uh, upper 70s. At the surface, we have high pressure over the Ohio River Valley that is uh, allowing moisture to come up the Rio Grande and up into New Mexico and they've had some issues over that way with some flash flood warnings and including parts of uh, north central Texas where Fort Worth has issued a couple of warnings. The upper atmosphere we have the ridge that is replacing the trough that uh, brought a little bit uh, cooler air to the area but it's not sticking around very long as that upper ridge is going to be the dominating feature over the next several days. Temperatures this morning starting out generally in the 40s, uh, there's a few spots uh, uh, tottering around the 50-degree uh, mark, but it looks like we have a nice cool morning to start. Watch warning map is pretty empty. We do have some uh, gray areas there in West Texas. Those are dense fog advisories. We do have some uh, frost advisories in the Appalachians as well, and there's a red flag warning down across uh, the northwestern, uh, the Florida panhandle, the uh, northwest part of Florida. And the QPF, unfortunately, uh, not showing much in the way of rain for our area. Uh, it looks like the next system uh, coming around the Tuesday-Wednesday time frame is also going to come through dry. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk for severe storms over uh, the Big Bend country of Texas and the uh, southern and southeastern part of New Mexico for day two. No um, severe weather areas, just uh, some uh, thunderstorm areas uh, stretching from Texas up into the Dakotas. And much the same uh, as it broadens just a little bit into a little bit larger area of the southeastern United States and takes in a little bigger portion of the lower Mississippi River Valley. That is the area for thunderstorms. And the tropics, tropical Atlantic is quiet and so is the north, uh, the eastern North Pacific. All right, the 06E GFS model run, and we see our surface high over the Ohio River Valley. That's keeping things dry over our area, but, of course, allowing moisture to go up into Texas. Sunday, we see the upper ridge is uh, bulging uh, well up into the Great Lakes, and uh, that's going to keep us basically on the warm side of our typical values for temperatures as we stay in the uh, 70s. For Sunday, uh, the surface pattern still features the high over the Ohio River Valley as it's migrating a little bit further east. Monday, we see that ridge is uh, slowly but surely migrating to the east coast. It gets to the east coast and uh, on uh, Tuesday as a very substantial trough comes into the Great Lakes. Now, this trough is going to have enough of an extent to the south that we're going to feel it. We're going to see it. As a matter of fact, uh, on Tuesday, the GFS is suggesting uh, a front. It's also putting a good deal of uh, showers and thunderstorms across southern Louisiana, southeastern Mississippi, and a little bit of southwest uh, Alabama. Uh, not sure that uh, they aren't overdoing it just a little bit because I just don't see the moisture getting up or uh, the moisture increasing that much. As a matter of fact, the precipital water values, as you can see, especially for north and central Alabama, are still very low. Uh, generally, those blue areas uh, over uh, north Alabama are below an inch. So you, you just can't wring moisture out of it when the atmosphere is that dry. That trough zips by pretty quickly, and so that puts us into a northwesterly flow. But as you can see, it also uh, leaves a little piece of energy back over the southwestern United States and extreme northwestern Mexico. So we should uh, see the high come in once again from uh, northern Missouri and uh, eastern Kansas. So the surface high comes in. But a again, as we see, the, the values, the precipital water values are very dry. These now are values below, those browns are values below 
um, seven tenths of an inch. So just really, really dry. We don't see much change on Thursday uh, uh, as we stay in a bit of a uh, northwesterly flow pattern, but we do see this little energy out over the southwestern United States. And also notice up in Canada another trough coming into uh, the Great Lakes region, and that trough comes in on Friday, and that helps to sharpen up the trough over the eastern half of the country. So uh, that should allow us to actually see some highs primarily in the 60s for uh, late in the week and into the weekend. And you can see now the surface high on Friday actually coming in to the region from uh, the Dakotas uh, and parts of uh, uh, the Western Great Lakes area, uh, as well as uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin up there. So some cooler air. And we see that northwesterly flow on Saturday. Certainly no moisture. And uh, that keeps us dry as the surface high by next f Saturday settles in. Looking out into uh, week two or voodoo country, uh, we see the GFS keeping the idea of this trough over the eastern part of the country around Tuesday, the 15th of November. And then when we get out towards the end of the period, we do have uh, this nice piece of energy that was coming out of the southwestern United States, but it comes out pretty low um, if the GFS is correct on this, it comes out across the western Gulf, and that certainly would uh, produce uh, some rain over the Gulf and Yucatan and Cuba, but it's not going to do much for us up here. We'd be in the dry area. And as a matter of fact, the 348-hour accumulated precipitation from the GFS, and notice that the gray is less than a tenth of an inch, covering about the northern two-thirds of the state of Alabama. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted uh, first thing on Sunday morning. Remember, tonight we fall back, so don't forget to set your clocks back before you go to bed, or be sure to set them back as soon as you wake up in the morning. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day, and Godspeed.